if you stick with it, I promise the, the end goal is going to, it, it's, it's worth it. It's so dark this morning. I don't know why. Um, it's, uh, it's six o'clock and I get up at six o'clock most days, but it just, it feels so much earlier than it actually, it actually is. I, I, I'm not sure why. If you follow me on Instagram yesterday, then you know that I ran 21 miles and that is by far the longest, that's the longest that I've ever ran, um, like ever. And it was, it, it went, it went okay. I actually convinced myself I wasn't gonna make a video yesterday and I ended up not making a video, but halfway through the run, um, I, I recorded this because I was convinced that I was going to. Uh, I'm currently I'm, uh, 17 miles into my run and my legs, my legs hurt, my, my hip hurts, my knee hurts. Um, but I'm, uh, as long as I keep going and as long as I keep running, then I, I haven't failed. Like I'll get there eventually. I just have to keep reminding myself that, uh, of that, that, I'm, that as long as I keep running and as long as I keep going forward, I will get there eventually. And that is a lot like, uh, a lot like YouTube. Um, so also, this is a dirty diaper. And the, the main reason I, I, I ended up coming, coming home and I just, I slept. Like it was to the point where um, I, I woke up, like I took a nap, I woke up and this was like covered in drool. It was that kind of, it was that kind of nap. So because of that, I just let my body rest and I just, I didn't do, I didn't make anything. And it was, it, it felt good. But on the run, I was, I kept fixating on, like I just, whenever you run that kind of distance, you just, the, you get to a point where all you want to do is stop. Like uh, there's nothing more in the world that you want to do than just, just stop. And that was, it was, I was reminded, like I, I kept telling myself, just get, just get to the goal, just get to the goal. Eventually the pain will stop. Eventually it's going to be worth it. And I was reminded, like a thought prop popped into my head and the thought was basically, isn't that what like isn't that what YouTubers or isn't that what anybody that's chasing a goal is having to deal with? Just the the keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. You have a goal, you'll eventually reach it. You just have to keep pers persevering. And YouTube is is no different. I've been making videos on a, on a regular basis for YouTube for about four years, and I've seen growth and I've seen like a lot of like personal growth um, and like just metric growth, like people subscribing to the channel, um, the channel growing, the audience growing, the community growing, uh, but I'm still not where I want to be. And I don't think I'll ever actually reach the point where I want to be, um, but a lot of times it can be kind of frustrating um, that I'm not where I, I want to be. It's kind of like trying to hit a target that, um, that you, you, they can't see and you don't know what, where it is or what it is or if it even exists. And basically what I'm trying to get at with, with all of this rambling at freaking six in the morning is if you're trying to do YouTube or if you're trying to hit a goal, you're almost there. Like you're, you just have to keep going and you'll, um, you'll hit it. You'll get it, you'll get there. You just have to keep going and you do, you, there's a quote that I really, really love um, and it's it's so true and you only, the quote is, you only fail when you give up. If you haven't given up yet, you, you're not going to fail, you haven't failed. And that's true, just because what your goal is or just because you haven't reached that goal or you haven't, it hasn't, it hasn't become the what, what you thought it was doesn't mean that you failed that just means that you're you're still in the process of getting there and even if you get there or when you get there um chances are it's not going to look anything like you thought anyway so all that to be said um if you if you're feeling discouraged if you're feeling kind of frustrated because of your you're not where you want to be that's that's totally fine uh just keep going and keep working and uh, honestly this is another quote that I, I don't know where I got it from, but I love it. it. Falling in love with the process instead of the result is the key to, to happiness, I believe. And um, I would encourage you try to, to just to try to start doing that. If you can do that, if you can fall in love with the process, it's going to make everything, it's going to make your life a lot more wholesome and it's going to, it's going to make you enjoy the, the process a lot more. Okay, I need to make coffee because I'm like, Ugh. I hope that made sense. Savannah, Savannah's gone for the next couple of days. She's shooting a wedding down in, in Florida. I don't know if I told you that or not, but she's gone for a work trip 
And um, I've, I've said this before, but I don't know why. Whenever I, whenever she's gone, I typically, I typically wake up earlier, and I two things happen. I typically wake up earlier, and I typically make way too much coffee because I'm used to, I'm used to making coffee for two people, and this doing it this way, I um, typically I'll make. I make 700 grams of coffee, which is basically two cups. Um, but I always forget that I don't need to make that much, um, so I end up making the 700 grams without, um, well, with having just way too much. Which, which that's not a problem. But today, I actually caught myself. It was the first time, and I am making the proper amount for myself. Also, it's way faster. Like taking when you're sitting there, like pouring 700 grams at a specific rate, it takes a while. And <laughs> if you've never done it before, you'll notice the first time that your shoulder will start to hurt because you have to hold it in a very specific position for uh, an amount of time. Um, but doing the exact half of that, going from 700 to doing the half of that, it feels like it just goes by like that. All that to be said, I'm just making this little video talking head to let you know that I made the correct amount of coffee. And I'm starting to wake up. I'm walking around, I'm starting to wake up. Doing the first talking head, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, doing the first talking head every morning is a little challenging because I am waking up and I'm still in a fog. Um, and I'm trying to make it not seem, to not seem like that. See, look, only 300 grams instead of the, um, the normal seven. One thing that I've learned being self-employed for mo most of for most of my professional adult life, uh, I I've learned to take joy and to celebrate the small the small victories. Having having big ambitious goals is is important. I would say it's 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 critical to being like self-employed or or whatever. But also I think on another like on the other the side of the other side of the coin, it's it's important to have small attainable goals that you can get uh, today or within a week. Um, that help contribute to getting to that that uh, more ambitious or bigger bigger goal because I feel like with with being self-employed and where where you run the risk of being discouraged or you run the risk of, of just kind of stopping and finding something else is when you don't see the progress you don't start seeing like the steps that you're taking to get closer to whatever whatever that may be whether that's having like a full-time like YouTube thing or having a lot of subscribers or or whatever it may be I think it's important to to stop and like take take joy in those small um, small fought small fought battles so for me like I didn't feel like I really didn't feel like making a video today if I'm being completely honest with you but I got up and I decided to go ahead and do that anyway and that when I when I end the day with a final completed video uploaded to YouTube that's going to be a celebrated like a celebrated win for me um, and even going even smaller than that if I if I don't want to record something like I didn't I was on the couch watching a movie uh, two seconds ago the last thing I wanted to do was come in here and talk to you about about really anything um, and this is just me being honest at any event uh, the fact that I'm in here shooting something talking to camera that, that that's a win um, So I, I even go as far to like celebrate when I shoot or pick up the camera and another thing that really helps me too I just, just thought about this, but the, another thing that really helps me too is uh when when I don't want to record something, I, I think about the, the kind of gear that I get to use and the gear that I actually, I, I really do love. I really do enjoy this camera setup and it's probably my favorite camera setup to shoot on. And typically for me, um, that's just, that's another way to like kind of force myself or get myself encouraged, <laughs> encouraged to, um, to, to shoot something. I hope that makes sense. Another one is also movies. But that also like is like that's like a double-edged sword. Like some movies, like I'll be really inspired and want to like help. I want I want I want to like include that in my style. But also at the same time, if the movie is really good, then I don't want to do anything but watch that movie. So um, the the gear thing's kind of like it's it's more of a it gets me up more the more percent more of a percentage than uh, than the movie thing. Savannah is coming back tomorrow. Um, meaning that I'm gonna have to clean up the 
the the apartment today. I, I don't know what it is or how I have like a if I if, if making an apartment messy was a superpower, I definitely would possess that superpower. I literally didn't do anything yesterday and it's just it's a complete mess. Like I'm gonna have to clean up uh, pretty much the entire the entire apartment minus this office because uh I haven't really been in here. Although the only mess in here is on that couch and that is um that is my mess. I don't know what it is, but I've, as I've become older, I've found that if, if my surroundings are, are messy, then it's harder for me to be able to focus. It used to just be my workspace, like I always had to have my desk clean, but everything else could just be a complete mess and I'd be totally fine. But as I'm getting older, I'm, real, I'm starting to realize that that habit is starting to come from just the desk to the room that it's in, and now it's to the living room, and it just, it, it, it doesn't mean that it, like everything has to be perfect. It just means that things like can't things like if I prefer if things aren't on are on the floor. That might be a sign of me maturing. I, I'm not I'm not completely sure. Uh, although Savannah would argue that I don't really do it until it bothers me, which which is true. Um, if it doesn't bother me, then I have no issue with it. But the second that it bothers me, it needs to be picked up and uh, taken care of right then and there. And also once I st once I start, then it's easier to to keep going. Um, and it's. It's not as hard to, to keep to keep picking things up. Much like doing YouTube or doing any other, like how I tied the, all that together that <laughs> ties in nicely. I didn't do that on purpose. And uh, just before Savannah left, she made me a couple of loaves and bagels um, of like bread. And uh, this, is all that's, this is all that's left. While she's gone, I literally, all I eat is the bread that she makes me and then egg sandwiches. And that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Which I'm totally fine with. I keep telling, I keep telling myself that I'm not gonna work on this couch and that I'll work either in our office over there or at our little breakfast bar table area. It's just when I get set up here and then I have the big TV going, I can just watch TV as I, I keep telling myself that I'm not gonna do this because this is this is uh, not the most comfortable for long-term things, but uh, for short-term, 